Welcome to Luke 22. This module covers basic Luke analyses, including ways to run individual files, groups of files, and texts within CSV or Excel files. Okay, let's get down to business. Let's say you're studying the language of U.S. presidents. Now, all elected presidents have given a, a speech like this. Their speeches typically reflect the ways they think and approach governing. And we'll start with Joe Biden and George Washington. And here's the beginning of Biden's speech. This is Democracy's Day, a day of history and hope, of renewal and resolve. Through a crucible for the ages, America has been tested anew, and America has risen to the challenge. Okay, now here's George Washington's. Among the vicissitudes incident to life, no event has, could have filled me with greater anxieties than that of which the notification was transmitted by your order and received on the 14th day of the present month. On the one hand, I was summoned by my country whose voice I could never hear but with veneration. You get the idea. Now, those two speeches are interesting, and they raise two questions. The first is, how are these two texts different? And what can we tell about the two authors by analyzing their language? The words people use can tell us a lot about them. Words such as I, me, and my reflect self-focus. People pay attention to themselves when they are self-reflective and even anxious or depressed. By counting I words in text, we can get a rough sense of how people are paying attention to themselves. Looking at Washington's speech, he used, a hot, he used I words at a surprisingly high rate. In fact, of the 1,400 words in his speech, 57 were I words, or about 4% and he was in fact a humble, self-effacing leader. How about Biden and other recent presidents? Biden is lower than Washington, but towers above other recent leaders. So how do we analyze texts quickly to look at the many dimensions of language? We'll be talking about the Luke computer program, which is one way of doing this. Let me show you how the basic program works. I click on the Luke icon, and it takes a few seconds to load. Once loaded, it first asks us to choose what text files to analyze. The choices are CSV Excel, File Folders, and Files. I'll first select the Single File option. A browser window opens, and it takes me to my inauguration speeches, and I'll click on Washington and Biden files, and then click on Run Analysis on the bottom of the screen. The program then analyzes the two speeches along about 100 dimensions of language and displays the results here. And you can see that the, the file goes on forever. Now I'll save and open the results in an Excel file. Click on the Save Results, change from the default CSV to Excel format, and then I'll open the file in Excel. And here it is in a format most people know well. Okay, here's a demo on how to run multiple files at once. In the Dataset tab, click on the Clear Dataset, then click on the Add Files and go back to the directory of the files you want. Okay, once loaded, click Run Luke. You will see that the program runs all the files at once, and I'll save it in Excel. Now, as a side note, this analysis reveals something fascinating about the evolution of the U.S. presidency. You will see the president's names are listed from the first president all the way down to the most recent on the left. Look at the analytic thinking column, a loop variable that measures logical, complex, and formal thinking. Analytic thinking starts and remains high with Washington until the 1900s where it starts to drop. We are electing presidents now who are using simpler and simpler language. Now look at clout, a dimension linked to high status, power, and self-certainty. It started low and is now the highest that it's ever been. The next feature is how to run entire folders of text files at once. Click the folder button, search for the folder of files you want to analyze. The folder itself is the data set. Now run Luke, and you now see that all of the documents in that folder have been analyzed. That's it. Let's try something different. Analyzing text in spreadsheets. Before beginning, look at an Excel file of the inaugural speeches. You can see file name, president's name, term, year of speech, and the person's age along with the actual text of the speech. What we will do is to run Luke on the text with the spreadsheet so that the metadata, like the president's name, party year, etc., are on the same line as the Luke scores. 
Here's how to do this. Go to the data set page, click on the CSV Excel button, find the Excel or CSV spreadsheet with the text and click open. And then you will see the original spreadsheet. Your job is to identify which column or columns have the text that you want analyzed. In this case, you would choose the column name text, then run Luke. The program has now run all of the files with the original file name and demographics as well as actual Luke scores. Finally, here's a nice shortcut you can make in saving the file. In the bar at the bottom, click the window and choose Save All Columns Except Analyze Text. I'm saving this as a CSV file and this is what it looks like. Please try to control your tears of joy. You are now ready to run this data with Excel, R, SPSS, or in your head. You are now ready for the Luke 22 experience. Happy Luking.